So do you aspire to be a select man? Or maybe you think you're already select, or you could be somewhere in the middle. No worries, in this video we will describe what a select man is, what it takes to become one, and some actionable steps to get you there. So definitely make sure that you stick around until the end. This is Gentlemen and Scholars where we discuss dating, style, and personal development. So if you're into becoming a better version of yourself, definitely make sure you like and subscribe. But you know, without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So today we'll be going over what the 10 signs are that you are in fact a select man. So for sign number one, that is going to be that you have high standards. See, a select man is, well, you know, highly selective. So he's gonna have high standards for all aspects of his life. This would apply to, you know, his work, you know, his career, what he really wants to do. He's gonna definitely be placing an emphasis on all of these things. This is gonna be for his friends, you know, working to create a circle of high quality friends and aligning himself with people that are driven and ambitious as well. And also the women that he dates, you know, um, having high standards in terms of, of course, them being attractive, but also what else do they have to offer? You know, are they driven and ambitious themselves? Do they have a clear idea of where they're at and also where they want to go? You know, these are all the different things that a select man is going to be paying attention to. So for sign number two, that you are a select man, that is going to be that you are a tastemaker. What I mean by tastemaker is that, you know, you have your own personal style. You're not really into following the crowds or blindly following the crowds at least. And, you know, and you have your own way of life. You have a certain way that you like to do things and those things are unique to you. And what tends to happen is influence is a natural side effect of this. People see the way that you're living your life and you know they see the benefits of the way that you live and suddenly you'll find people gravitating to some of the things that you find yourself doing. So this is definitely a sign that you are a select man if you find this occurring in your life. So for sign number three, closely related to the aforementioned sign, that is going to be that you are independent. As a select man, you move to the beat of your own drum. You're not blindly following the crowd and you're also not afraid to make moves on your own. That could be business deals, that could be you know just going different places by yourself. This even applies for places that maybe traditionally you would go with more than one person. If you're a select man and there's something that you wanna do and maybe no one's available at that time, you're totally okay with doing things solo. So you can go out and get a table for one, you could go shopping by yourself. Really the idea here is that you move to the beat of your own drum and you're not deterred from doing the things that you want to do. So for sign number four, that you are in fact a select man, that is going to be that you have ambition and you have drive. So a person that is a select man is gonna have a clear idea of the person that they're aiming to become. You know, so what does that person look like? You know, what you know, career or job do they have? What does their woman look like? You know, what are the different types of clothes that they wear? See, a select man is going to be highly selective of all of these things and already have a clear idea in his mind of the person that he's aiming to be. So for sign number five, that is going to be that your peers have identified you already as being someone that is select. So of course, more than likely your peers aren't gonna come right out and say, hey, you are a select man, but you know, they might identify you as somebody that is high value. And some telltale signs of this are, you know, they always come to you for advice. You know, they really value your opinion. Um, you might even find them writing certain things down. They look at you as a leader, someone that gets things done, and someone that they can rely on. 
These are all indicators that they do see you as someone that is high value. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're paying attention to this. If you're enjoying this video, subscribe to join the Gentlemen and Scholars family and consider checking out the Gentlemen and Scholars Club website for free resources, Gentlemen and Scholars merch, book recommendations, consultation services, and our free Gentlemen and Scholars Ultimate Handbook, where you'll learn personal development tips on how to build a successful life and become the gentleman of your dreams, style tips to develop an eye-catching, attractive, and unique personal avatar, and dating tips to attract, court, and keep the woman of your dreams. Visit the Gentlemen and Scholars Club website for more. Now back to the video. So for sign number six, that you are in fact a select man, that is going to be that you are a facilitator. So what I mean by this is that, you know, you are a facilitator in that you provide resources to your friends, your peer groups, um, you provide knowledge, um, you're able to share some of your experience and, you know, help people to get what they're trying to go in their lives and this is very valuable to people. You're a connector, you know, you're able to find different people or have different people in your network that you're able to connect with one another to help them along to achieve their goals. These are all highly valuable things and you are more than likely a select man if this is something that you do consistently. So for sign number seven, that you are in fact a select man, that is going to be that you have strong boundaries. So almost just as important as knowing who you are, who you want to be, where you're going, etc., is also knowing what you don't want to be, the things you don't like, and what you don't want to do. So having those boundaries, having those lines in the sand is definitely uh, advantageous and effective, particularly if you're aiming to be a select man. With these guardrails in place, it will make things a lot easier for you and is definitely something that select men know and implement in their lives. So for sign number eight, that you are in fact a select man, that is going to be that you have a strong work ethic. This means that you are a person that is not afraid to do the work. You're willing to put in the extra hours and do the work to create a life that is truly of your design and create something incredible for the future. So for sign number nine, that is going to be that you are adaptable. As a select man, you have certain leadership qualities and one being that you are highly adaptable and able to make decisions quickly on the fly. So as unforeseen issues arise that maybe you have no plan for, you're able to quickly adapt, um, make decisions that are able to help you or even the group continue to move forward towards your goal. Definitely a quality of a select man. And for sign number 10, that is going to be that, well, you're a gentleman and scholar. You know, you have a certain level of class well, generally speaking, and place a high value on self-improvement and education. So with that said, if you all are aiming to be someone that's select or just level up your life and your game, I highly encourage you to check out the Gentleman and Scholars Ultimate Handbook that is available for free. Yes, I said for free on the Gentleman and Scholars Club website. All you have to do is enter your first name and your email address and you will get the download link right then and there. But with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Um, if you do have any questions for me, definitely feel free to give a shout. Definitely like, make sure that you subscribe and let me know down below. Are you someone that's select or do you aim to be select? You know, are there specific traits that you find that were maybe left out that you think select men um, have? Definitely let us know in the comment section down below. But until next time. Gentlemen and scholars. Hey gents, hope you enjoyed the video. And check out the Gentlemen and Scholars Club website for our free Gentlemen and Scholars Ultimate Handbook, free resources, book recommendations, consultation services, and some pretty slick Gentlemen and Scholars merch. GNS hoodies, 
t-shirts, mugs, notebooks, and so much more. Until next time, gentlemen and scholars. Hey gents, if you enjoyed this video, check out some bespoke video recommendations here and here. And subscribe to join the Gentlemen and Scholars Club.